everyone, we are back with another episode of The Royal Family. Today is a very special episode. As you can see, we are currently in Dakarai. We are about to have Adric's coronation ceremony, and I'll fill you guys in on everything that's going on here. We're also going to have Han and Araminta try for their third baby, and then we're gonna see another couple that's pregnant later on as well. We're gonna have Cornelius and Alice's engagement party, and then we are going to go to the Windenburg Palace. We're going to chat, and I'll fill you guys in on some story stuff, and I'm also going to show you the newly renovated Windenburg Palace. Before we begin, I will let you guys know, so there have been multiple story posts that I have posted on my Instagram. There are quite a lot, actually. I posted five of them. Most of them we are going to talk about in this episode. However, the first one we're not really going to talk about. I'll just let you guys know. But the first one was of Ari and Gabriel on their honeymoon in Sulani. Basically, they're going to wait about a year before they start trying for a baby. Oh, and all of these are linked below in the description, by the way. So that's the first one. One. The next few ones we're going to talk about in this episode. So the second one was of Alice May and Amira. Third one was of Alice May, Caspian, and Cedric. The fourth one was of Kaleo and William, kind of talking about Alice May. And the fifth one was of Alice May and Caspian. So we'll talk about that later in this episode. So yeah, we have our guests arriving. We're about to have the coronation ceremony. This is our new Dockerai Palace. I'm still working on some of the outside stuff. This palace was originally made by Riley. Riley's gallery ID is Riley, R-Y-L-E-Y 05 underscore three. He also made the Kinching Palace as well, but I had originally sent Riley these pictures of these Egyptian palaces, and then I decided to add some inspiration from this Nigerian palace that I saw. So originally this was more tan, but I made it all white, and then I added some of the tops to it too, and then I just raised it up a little bit. I just need to add some stuff to the outside for like landscaping purposes, and I want to change the foundation. There wasn't too many options for like foundation patterns, I guess. I don't have any custom content for that. I probably should get some. But yeah, I really like it. And then so on the poll, when I asked you guys what we should call our newly combined kingdom of Selva Dorada and Dakarai, so United Kingdom of Selva Dorada and Dakarai did win. So it's UKSD for short. I did decide to change their last name. So I know that like in Selva Dorada, El, like El Dorada kind of, that means gold in Spanish. So I decided to change their last name to mean gold in Swahili. So that's Dahabu and that's spelled D H-A-H-A-B-U. So I ended up changing that to their last name. I I mean, I think we can say that that's been their last name this whole time. I know it hasn't been, it's been Selva Dorada, but I feel like I sh probably should have changed that to their last name a long time ago. I'm going to refer to both of the kingdoms. So when we're here, I'll probably refer to it as Doc Ryan. When we're in Selva Dorada, I'll probably refer to it as Selva Dorada. But the entire, like both of them combined is the UKSD. So United Kingdom of Selva Dorada and Doc Ryan. And then Jabari still, he's been here here. So this is only like a week or two after the last episode, but we're actually going to do a time skip right after the coronation ceremony, just like a few months ahead. So Jabari's been here, but right after the coronation ceremony, he's going to go home back to Windenburg. We got to see the sweet little moment with Adric and Desta too, that we'll talk about in a bit. But why don't we go ahead and start the coronation ceremony and I will talk through it with you guys as well. And then we're going to have a little party after this and then we're going to move on. So yeah, let's go ahead and start. Okay. So this this is going to work as our throne room for now. The thing is, as you can see, I'm using the throne from Get Famous, which isn't actually a chair, which I hate. I hate that it's not, but I wanted to do like a raised platform sort of for this. So that's what I ended up going with for the throne. So I'm using the teleporter mod and a pose to have him actually sit in it. The pose that I use for him to sit in the chair or the animation that I use is by Gaming Tweety. But I got the inspiration for the coronation ceremony for the traditions from like a few different countries. So I did some research on the last coronation ceremony in Egypt, which was in like, I think it was like 1950s or something like that. So the first part of it, unfortunately, I can't really show this, but we're going to say this is happening, is that the army, they are supposed to swear their loyalty to the new king. So we'll say they have done that. So obviously, this is supposed to be like a little bit different than our other coronation ceremonies and enthronement ceremony. So that's why I'm not using the coronation animation. And then it was really only a tradition for the Guangxi kingdom to to have like the monarchs kissing the hand of the new empress. So that's not a tradition here. So it's the army swears their loyalty to the new king. Usually the prime ministers speak, but we don't have a prime minister here, mostly 
because I don't want to add a lot more sims to the game because my game is already like really full. So I'm having Zamora speak instead. I thought it made sense. She's the Dowager Queen, the Queen Mother. So she's speaking first. She's kind of the one leading the ceremony. And then I'm going to have, I saw that in Ethiopia, they did this in like the 1930s for the coronation ceremony to have the king swear an oath and he has to swear to rule by the law and in the interest of his subjects. So King Adric is taking an oath now. I think I am going to turn Selvadrata back into a destination world, but I'll probably have Elon like go there frequently. So he's going to be put in charge of a lot of the stuff going on in Selvadrata. I'm probably going to have Sissy, like when she grows up too, she's definitely gonna help with that as well. I think Zamora is gonna help with that too. So they'll just go there frequently, but they are going to be living here in Dakarai. I don't have really any of the other buildings built here. So that's gonna just take a little bit of time. I just have the palace for now, but I'll show you guys everything once it's done. But yeah, okay, so now we have King Adric. He's sitting on his throne. He's the new king. He's been through a lot. This has been really difficult for him, but he got through it with the support of his family. But now the sun is set. It's beautiful here. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty here. We have the sun is setting. The coronation ceremony is over, but we're going to have their little ball now. So right now we have a few people hanging out here back in the throne room and then the ballroom is in the very lower part of the basement so this is the ballroom i think riley did a really good job with it oh sissy sissy's just in the wall all right come here okay there she is we have alice may right here i'm gonna have jabari go talk to her i so i think that alice may and amira and cedric they came to stay here so they've been here for a few nights to stay here at the duck Rye palace it's been like several weeks since jabari has seen his family so he was really happy to see them. He's going to be coming home after this too. So yeah, right now he's talking to Alice May. Oh, and then we have Cornelius who's really, oh, okay. Cornelius came in, was really excited and then left. And then we have Cedric. Oh, oh no, Alice May. Oh, why is she upset? Oh my God. Okay. Well, we're going to talk about that later, but we also have, oh my gosh, we have Cedric. We have Cedric. Look how freaking cute he is. Cedric is adorable. If Araminta, oh, she looks, <laughs> She always wears this dress when I plan for her and Han to have another baby. Oh, and then we have Natalia and Desta talking. And then we have Arya just chilling here. But I feel like Natalia and Desta get along really well. I'm gonna have Adric go talk to Desta. Of course, we gotta see their sweet little moment in the beginning of this, in the intro. I think that they'll be getting engaged fairly soon. I actually almost had Adric propose here. Where you go inside? Oh, Kimmy, she needs to change. Um, But I almost had Adric propose at the coronation ceremony but I didn't think I would have been able to do a machinima intro if I did that. And since he's a monarch, I said that I would try to do the machinimas for them. So I'm gonna wait, but it's probably gonna be soon. And then I think that Natalia and Elon are probably going to get engaged pretty soon too. They've been dating for a long time. And then we have Makana here and Louie and Sadira, Frederick here. I don't know where everyone is. They're supposed to be dancing down here. I don't know where everybody is. Is everybody upstairs in the throne room? Kind of. Looks like Leilana is talking to Makana. Han and Araminta are up here, so we're gonna go see them next. They're gonna try for a baby, except it will be a time skip to a couple months later, but still. And then Desta, so Zamora is letting Desta, okay, well, she's walking away, but Zamora is letting Desta help out with some of the military stuff in the UKSD. Is Ellis making a drink? I guess the bartender left and now Ellis is making a drink, okay. But I am gonna have Desta live in Dakarai as well. And then, yeah, I think her and Adric will be getting engaged pretty soon. But yeah, so they're going to continue here. Amir Mira is dancing. She's talking with, oh, Johan's here, Sadira's here. Sadira's excited. Cedric is just so cute. Look at him. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. He's literally, he's the cutest child ever. Seriously, he's so cute. Look at him. <laughs> I love him so much. Okay, anyway, <laughs> Adric, I think is going to be a lot less stressed after this because I think a lot of this preparation was for the coronation ceremony for him. I mean, obviously he still has a lot to do with like building up Dakarai and the whole like switch. So there's gonna be a lot of change for them, but things have been a lot easier. Zamora's back to being strong and healthy. She is an elder though, but she'll be living, she'll be living for a good amount more time. Oh, and then we have Sissy and Cedric here. I think they get along pretty well. I 
think that, I mean, we already know that Cedric looks up to Alice May so much. It's this big sister. He loves her so much. I think Sissy also looks up to AM. But yeah, I also think that Sissy and Cedric are pretty close. But okay, we're gonna leave them here. We're gonna let them have fun. We're super happy for King Adric. So it is now fall. I've done a bit of a time skip. So we'll say about a four month time skip. We are at the Glimmerbrook Palace. Han and Araminta are going to be trying for a baby here. First, let's go see the kids because they're so cute. We have baby Zayori and baby Rin here. So I still have little Rin. She is in the toddler preset still, but I'll probably put her in the regular preset or I guess just the normal toddler preset by the next episode. And then Han and Araminta will probably have the baby the episode after that. But yeah, they're adorable. And Zayori loves being a big sister. They're talking, they're just like chatting. They're so cute. Oh my God, I love them. She She's so cute. Look at her. She's so talkative. She's adorable. Okay, but we're here because of Han and Araminta. Oh, they're talking to each other in here. Um, Yeah, sure, make out. Okay, they're in their bedroom. They were ready. Whisper sweet nothings and kiss. It's already a, oh, well, it was a suggestive. No, don't be a group conversation. What? Oh yeah, I have Dukantaro. Oh, Dukantaro is dancing with Tagashi and then Mei Lin. So they are moved in here, mostly just because I wanted Mei Lin. I figured she'd want to spend as much time with their grandchildren as much as possible. I was thinking of maybe having them move into their own place because if they move out, they will be next door. I, I might have them move into their own place, but for now they are here. But Han and Araminta, so they're starting to, oh yeah, they're okay, they're kissing. They're starting to flirt a bit. They're going to try for their third baby. I'm excited. Um, try, oh yeah, try for a baby. Look how cute they are. Oh my gosh, they're just looking at each other. They're so cute. Okay, I think they're gonna go, yep, she's, all right, there we go. Okay, yay, they're trying for a baby. We'll let them do that. And then meanwhile, so we got Takashi, he's jamming. I think that him and Manuel, I think they're gonna be proposing to Elena and Juliet pretty soon. I was debating if I should wait till after Corn Farm's wedding. Maybe they'll get engaged before. Oh, Zayori's making an escape. She's going down the stairs. I'm gonna have Maylin go talk to her. Oh, she's hugging Zayori. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my God. Oh, Han. Oh, Han came downstairs in his underwear. No, Han, put some clothes on, please. Oh my God. All right, well, they're done. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put some clothes on him. Araminta, are you ready to take a pregnancy test and see if you're pregnant, um, take pregnancy test. Okay, let's see. <gasps> I'm excited. She's gonna be pregnant. Yay, you guys, Aramid is pregnant. Oh, I'm so excited. <gasps> I'm so excited for them to have another baby. I think three is it. I think that's all they're gonna have. I'm trying to limit the number of kids that a lot of the families are having because there's too many Sims. But yay, she's pregnant. She's telling Han. Tuck, she's right there mopping in a tux. Um, but we're going to go to Corn Farm's engagement party and we're gonna see the other couple that's pregnant there. But yeah, we'll see them soon. I'll try to make an episode, maybe in the next episode or the one after that, just soon, where we go spend some time with Han's family, like Tai and Akio and Li Wei and everyone. I know we haven't seen them in a while, so I'll make sure to do that soon. But all right, they're cute, they're adorable. We're gonna go to Corn Farm's engagement party. Okay, so we are now at the Willow Creek Farm for Corn Farm's engagement party. I decided to have it here because some people were saying their wedding should be at the farm, but their wedding is gonna be at the cathedral. I just think that's a tradition for the heirs of Willow Creek. But I did tell the stream that we would have their engagement party here at the farm. So we decorated this. I did it kind of fancy. I tried to do it as rustic as possible, but this is what we did. I thought it looks pretty cute. So this is where they're having it. And then I'll show you guys who's pregnant because I didn't say that someone's pregnant. It's Samaria. So Samaria is pregnant. I believe she just started her second trimester. And that Bellatrix is definitely here somewhere. I just saw her. Oh, there she is. Yay, she's here. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Oh, she looks a little, okay, she looks a little bored. <laughs> but what I did is, so for story purposes, we'll say that they got a donor. But what I did was make a sim that looks like Bellatrix and that's the donor. But when Samaria has the baby, we're gonna set it so Bellatrix and Samaria are both the baby's parents. So that's what's gonna show up on the family tree. But yeah, they're having a baby. I'm so excited, you guys. And then Makana and Kimmy. Oh, I just wanna, hold on. I, I'm gonna start playing from some of the Sims so I can control them and make them do stuff. I do kind of feel like Kimberly has been hinting to Makana that she wants to get engaged soon. I think that because Gabriel and Arya, Gabriel and Arya are living at the Oasis Springs Palace, by the way. But I do think that because of their wedding, that kind of helped a little bit, like Arya and Gabriel's wedding. So 
Kimmy would kind of reference it a little. Oh, she still has her henna. Whoops. That's from Arya's wedding. I forgot to take that off, but that's fine. But yeah, I just feel like she was talking about it and saying things like, oh, that would be cute for like a wedding or something like that. Like just hinting a little bit more. She is still nervous about the mermaid thing. I think she's also kind of brought that up to Makana a bit. Like I think they've talked about it a little bit. It's not the best with words. So I think that Kimmy's gonna have to talk to Samaria about it soon. Oh, oh, Kaleo, why are you walking in with your bathing suit on? Hold on, put a shirt on. But yeah, they've talked a bit. They're cute. Minerva's here. Gabriel's here. Oh, is William here? Oh, that reminds me. I forgot to have William like actually ask Minerva to be his girlfriend. I don't think that Gabriel knows that Minerva and William are together. I think Minerva avoided telling him that. And then we have Arya here. I'm gonna have Ellis go talk to Arya because they're really good friends. Oh, invite Princess Arya to dance. Okay, cool. <gasps> William is here. Oh, he's dressed up. Okay, so, okay, people are dressed up like half and half fancy. That's okay, just ignore that. But Jessica and Alice May here. So I think that since Gabriel is here, Minerva has told William that she hasn't told her brother that they're together yet. Maybe they'll sneak away for a little bit in just a second. But yeah, we got people dancing um, for Aisha. So I think that she, oh, she's angry. Oh no, she's a little bit enraged right now. Um, but I think that that she's been traveling to San Myshuno a lot. I feel like she's probably thinking of opening her own office there, like for her fashion line. So I think she's gonna end up moving there pretty soon, but I feel like right now she's been back and forth between here or between Oasis Springs and San Myshuno. Oh my God, Minerva and William are talking to each other willingly. I didn't even tell them to do that. Gabriel's right there. Well, ooh, why don't you guys go talk like over here maybe? Oh my gosh, Minerva's feeling, she's feeling flirty. Kiss William's hands. Okay, I'm gonna have her ask him. Okay, ask to be boyfriend. They're hiding. I just think that's so cute. They're really cute. Oh, they're taking a picture. They're so cute. She'll tell Gabriel eventually, I'm sure. Maybe she'll just wait till he's in like a good mood. But why don't we go ahead and call people to come eat? They've been dancing for a while. They're having lots of fun. I'm still so excited that Samaria and Bellatrix are having a baby, you guys. I promise everyone else is gonna be having a baby soon too. Everyone's, I love this. Everyone's chatting here. We've got... Bellatrix, Alice May, Aisha, Molly Grace, Takashi, and Frederick, they're all chatting with their food here. I think that's super cute. And then I was going to talk about the story post, the rest of them about Alice May when we go to the Windenburg Palace, but I can chat about the one with Kaleo and William. It was William catching Kaleo just staring at Alice May when Alice May and all their friends, when they were visiting Sulani for the weekend, basically just asking like, are you ever going to tell her that you like her? And Kaleo has wanted to, but Alice May, she hasn't been wanting to go out as much recently. I'll get a little bit more into it later when we go to the Windenburg Palace. But yeah, Cleo was just telling William that he wants to tell Alice May, but he doesn't know if he should. And also that he thinks that Jabari hates him, which I think is pretty obvious because Jabari gives him like the stank eye. And then William was saying that, yeah, Jabari's pretty nice to people and brought up Caspian. And Cleo just said like, oh God, I hate that kid. And William said that he doesn't really like Caspian either. And that's because he He's heard that Caspian got expelled. I mentioned that in the last episode. I've mentioned that in some story posts. So he kind of gets the vibe that Caspian's like not that great of a kid, that he always gets in trouble, especially since he got expelled from his school. Ellis is just doing push-ups right now, that's fine. So he's being an overprotective cousin. He kind of thinks that since Caspian's hanging around with Alice May and Cedric a lot, that he might be a bad influence on them. So William did tell Kaleo that Caspian got expelled from his school and Kaleo was just like, oh, that's weird, I wonder why. So that was that story post. We'll talk about the rest of them later. All right, so Corn Farm slow dancing right now. Kimmy and Makana are about to slow dance to maybe Jessica and Frederick. Do you guys want to slow dance? Oh my gosh. Oh, Elena and Takashi. Are you serious? Oh my God. Her dad and mom and brother are right here. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, I, it doesn't look like any of them saw that. They were all turned around. Oh, and then Julia and Manuel are slow dancing, but they're slow dancing off of the dance floor. That's okay. Well, okay. I think that's everything here. Now we're going to move on to the Windenburg Palace. We're going to chat about Alice May and Caspian a bit. Okay, so we are at the newly renovated Windenburg Palace. Guys, this is so pretty. This was renovated by Lord Crumbs. He did an amazing
amazing job. Lord Crumbs also built the Brindleton Bay Palace, which I can't remember if I mentioned, but he does have a speed build of that on his channel, which I'm gonna link below. He also just came out with a tips for building video, which I think is very helpful. So I'm going to link that below as well. But yeah, Lord Crumbs did such a good job. Look how pretty it is, you guys. This palace is gorgeous. I love the landscaping. This is so freaking pretty. I actually just changed it like back to summer. It's supposed to be fall. I'm gonna change it back. Let's see, season G, change season with MC Command Center. So we're gonna go back to fall. It's still pretty, it's still gorgeous. It was just like so much greener in the summertime. But yeah, we now have Jabari back here currently he is frozen in my game and no matter how many times I reset him he's just chilling so I guess he's on a walk contemplating right now just admiring being back home I guess and then Nia and Amira are in a meeting oh they were in a meeting they're not anymore I guess they're taking a break but we do have Alice May and Cedric and we have Caspian all chatting here right now so they're just hanging out oh my gosh look at Cedric and Caspian that's so cute oh my god that's adorable Okay, so yeah, they're gonna hang out. We'll hang out with them while I go through the story posts and just fill you guys in on everything. So I know I did come out with a lot of story posts, but I do recommend reading them because there's gonna be a lot more development if you read the story posts first. So the first one that I had posted was of Alice May and Amira and just AM being in bed, like Amira finding her in bed really late. And she says that she, cause she was supposed to hang out with her friends, but she ended up not. So then Amira asked if she'd be willing to take Cedric to to the Sunday market and suggested that Caspian meet them there. So then Alice May and Caspian and Cedric all went to the Sunday markets together and Cedric was just really tired. So Caspian offered to give him a piggyback ride back to the car and it was just really cute. Then the Clay and William happened, but I already talked about that. And then the last one was with Alice May and Caspian that actually took place right here. And it's just like Alice May, you can tell that she's kind of just been feeling down, especially when she's by herself. That's when she really mostly shows it. She doesn't like to show it when she's around other people. So Caspian saw her do that and then just kind of changed the subject. Alice May made him laugh and heard him laugh for the first time. And they're just getting closer. They're definitely more friends now. And Caspian also told her because he knew that she was down like when he had first seen her, he told her that she's always welcome to talk to him about anything. She has his number now because she got his number when she met him at the Sunday markets. So she can always call him or come find him if he's at the palace. Cause he can tell that, oh, Cedric is leaving, I guess. Um, but he can tell that Alice May is down. I don't think he wants to be pushy about it by like always asking her what's wrong. So he just wanted to make sure that she knew that he was there for her if she needs anybody. And again, this is like the very beginning of her story. So anything that's not clear will be more clear later. But her dad is home now and she, oh, I don't know where they're going. Um, but her dad is home now, which I mean, she's super happy about. Oh, they're cloud gazing together. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I needed to mention. Oh, the story post with Alice May and Amira. So, I mean, Alice May was in bed and like, I think you guys could kind of tell that she was down and she was, but to Amira, like her first instinct was, are you sick? Are you ill? Like, are you okay? And so when Alice May wasn't, Amira just didn't really think about it because, oh, I don't think I've mentioned this in an episode, but a while ago I did post a 60 facts about the Royal family video. And I did tell how May died in there. So because everyone thinks that that May died from a heart condition. Amira's just very, like anytime her kids are sick, she just goes into overprotective mode. She's like, are you sick? Do you feel okay? Like that kind of thing, just because of why she thinks May died. And then also because her mother died from hypothermia, I think that she makes sure so that her kids bundle up when they go outside in the winter when it snows. And then of course, Alice May just has this, like everyone has this image of her because she was so outgoing as a kid. She's always been like very responsible, like that responsible responsible big sister, been very good at public speaking and talking to people in general. So everyone has like very high standards for her. She's just going through stuff that you guys will find out more about later. But yeah, I mean, I think that's it here. They're, oh yeah, perfect, they're done. Okay, yeah, there will be more story posts on Instagram. But I think we are going to end this episode here. Again, thank you to Lord Crumps for renovating this palace because it's gorgeous. Oh my God, it's so pretty now, I'm obsessed with it. Let's just look at it again, because it's so pretty. Look at it! Lord Crumps did such a good job, and then thank you to Riley for making the original Dockerai Palace. Okay, we're gonna end this episode here. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you guys 
guys thought of Adric's coronation ceremony and of Desta and Adric in general. Let me know what you thought of Corn Farm's engagement party and everything that happened there. Let me know what you guys think of Caspian and Alice May and Cedric and of Kaleo 2, that whole situation. I love hearing your guys' thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!